Hi, I'm Nick from All Boat Services, the marine electrical experts, and today I'm going to show you how we make up battery cables. So the first thing to do is get organised when you're doing this job. We've already worked out by referring to the manual the size of battery cable that's required. We've got a cutting list and we've made up the lengths of the cables so they're ready to go and I've laid out my terminals, heat shrink and tools required. Now we're using a quite, quite a large battery cable here, 120 square millimetres. Uh, that size does not relate to the diameter of the cable but the cross-sectional area of all of the strands of copper joined together. So the first thing we're going to do then is put a terminal on the end of this one. So I'm going to pick up the terminal and I'm going to use my thumbnail to mark the uh, length of the cable that's going to go inside the terminal. And at the end of the terminal here, you can see a small hole. And that hole is to give you a visual reference that the cable is fully home. Now you can get uh, a tool to strip the cables, which is very, very useful if you uh, are not uh, particularly experienced. But for somebody like myself who's done this for pretty much most of my career, uh, I, I can do this by, by feel. So I cut the sheath round, do it like so, and without cutting any of the internal strands. I'm going to do that because we're going to damage the cable, which is what we don't want to do. So there we go. Uh, we've now got the strands and we've got the terminal and these terminals are slightly tapered to allow for easy installation. So I'm gonna make sure I get all of those individual strands in with my thumbnail. There we go, they're all in. And I'm gonna push that home. And what I'm gonna do now is just look and we can see the, the copper strands through the hole. Now we have a bench mounted hydraulic uh, crimping tool. And I'd always recommend once we get to this size that you certainly use a hydraulic tool if it's a hand one, but on our bench here, we have one set up. And what I'm going to do is position the terminal onto that one now. And then I've got a foot switch to operate it. Keep the cable pushed right in tightly. And then the machine will come up to full power. So you can hear that. I'll look through to make sure that the, uh, the jaws have come together. And there we go. And what I've done is I've positioned that uh, in the middle of the crimping area, slightly towards the cable end, so that we're still leaving a, uh, a piece uncrimped there. And if we just do make sure our double check or visual check there, there's definitely strands coming through. Okay, if we look at the terminal, uh, there's just a tiny bit of flashing there from the crimping tool. So what I'm gonna do is use a file just to remove that side and that side and the next part is to put a nice piece of heat shrink on there so if we look at the terminals we'll see that there's a, a circular part and then that circular part ends and it starts to turn into the flat of the terminal so we want to end our heat shrink right there so I've pre-cut some heat shrink slide that over position that on the end and then use a hot air gun There we go, so spreading the heat all the way over the heat shrink, front to back, and then you'll see that the imprint of the terminal starts to appear, the hexagonal shape from the crimping tool, and then we know that the heat shrink is properly shrunk. And that's it, ready to go.